last season, which um, mm -hmm. was relatively close, but uh, Solo did manage to win that, I believe. So, um, all in all, the track record seems that uh, Rosa seems to win, but uh, who knows? Uh, who knows? I actually, uh, I'm happy to see Tatumon back, because I haven't seen him much in Ultimate. Yeah, I, I know, right? It's, um, he has been absent for a long time. So for those of you who maybe don't know Tatumon, um, he is a uh, kind of a veteran Smash 4 player, actually. He, he was PR'd throughout almost the entirety of Smash 4, I think. So it's going to be interesting to see how he performs now that he's taken a long break with Ultimate. And, uh, well, knowing him, he's probably still very solid. So... Let's get this match on the way. It's Volia versus Tatuman in Grandmaster. All right, um, Alex, is there a way? Oh well, never mind actually. Oh, to I... um, mute, to mute. Uh... Yeah, because I I heard you your uh, volume in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I'll slow down. All right, all right. Thank you, thank you. So yeah, they're starting off. Um... Relatively safely, you know, Villager doing what Villager does best, and that is zone a little bit, but Tatuan finds a grab, which is going to lend him a, a clean conversion, but no juggle, which is surprising, because that is what Rosa is best at. But maybe he's ca kind of just collecting the data, seeing what Voya likes to do in disadvantage. There he tries to push his advantage with juggling, but Voya expertly using that pocket as a sort of extra air dodge. Oh, that was great MTR on Tatuan. Yes, indeed. Um, so yeah, Voya just uh, trying to barrage him with these back airs and forward airs, and Tatamon, you know, slowly, you know, they're still very much even. It's not like anyone's really in the lead right now, but I do think that Rosalina has a bit of an easier time killing. So in that sense, uh, it's looking kind of good for uh, for Tatamon at the moment. Yeah, but Rosa being tall in this matchup, I think it's gonna be a little rough. Yeah, it might be. Uh, the tree actually doing a whole lot of damage against that Luma. That one, that Luma definitely does not have a lot of HP left on it. Um, and of course, one big change from um, from Smash 4 to Ultimate for Rosa was the fact that Shield actually covers Luma in this game pretty well. So that makes Rosalina a bit stronger against projectiles in general. Uh, and that's Smash actually taking it. That surprised me. Interesting. Yeah, well, yeah he, he got launched. But, uh, so, so both players try to empty air each other, but mm -hmm. I don't think Tatuban is committing to to the gym that much. No, you're right. He's definitely staying grounded a lot and using that as his pressure. Uh, Yitsu, thank you for the follow. Good to see you on the stream. Oh god, the, the down air. <laughs> that's scary, because um, that down air from Rosalina can actually hit through the stage also. So... Um, Definitely a scary position for Volya there, and so much damage on the second stock already, and still not able to find that kill. <laughs> I, I see Stone Gan going ham in the chat, you love to see it. Oof, and that's gonna be another stock for Volya, just well, having a, yeah. a rough time finding the killing blow against Tatumon here, and I mean... I that... think he wanted the X too much. Yeah, maybe. It... I don't know, it's kind of, okay, good back air there, but it's kind of rough against, like, because you're playing Villager, who is not very well known for, you know, his approaching game or anything, and then there's Tatamon, who's just a very patient and defensive Rosalina player, that's kind of impossible to wall break once you're behind as Villager. So that's rough, Tatamon pushing that advantage more and more, and Voya really trailing. Alright, back hair. Yeah, Voya just having a very rough time finding the openings that he needs. Uh, yeah, Voya is cornered most, like, almost all the time. Yeah, he is not finding his way back to center stage, which is rough because that is definitely what you need. And Tatamon is just not giving it to him. This ledge pressure has just been immaculate all, all the time, and that's going to be the first good game. stage control as well. Yeah, just... He covered that latch so, so well. And, uh, yeah, I mean, as I said to you guys, um, Tatuma might, you know, might have taken a long break, but there's a reason why he was PR'd throughout most of Smash 4, if not all of it. He's just been a very solid player through and through, and 
it shows. So yeah, it's, it's good to see Tatumon back, but let's see if Voya can, you know, fire back a little bit here. That would be nice. But we'll see. So, um... What do you uh, predict about the counter pick? I think Villager likes uh, platforms. Hmm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Villager also likes platforms. Mainly because it helps with landing and also because Villager does have some shenanigans with, you know, dropping stuff from the platforms. So, um, we, I, I think we'll see a platform stage, but I'm not sure which. Um, but I was going to ask you, actually, because there's uh, plenty of interesting sets for today. Is there any you particularly are looking forward to? Or do you do you not have the schedule maybe on hand right now? Because I, I oh, understand. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm a bit biased, but I think V-System versus K4M is pretty interesting. Okay, okay. Nope. Not because it's my division, but because Yoshi versus uh, Banjo is really weird to see. Like, <laughs> yeah. Really rare to see as well. Mm -hmm. That is going to be an interesting match. Yeah. I think the last two are the most interesting because Dengi Kang is a really weird, neutral person, but if he gets oh. his advantage state. Okay, uh, okay uh, so I'm gonna have to cut you off here real quick because Volia selected Isabel, which is. A oh, character bro, yeah. I haven't seen from him yet, so I'm FTSL. yeah, so I'm yeah, no platforms here. I'm very interested to see how this will play out because I I have not seen uh, Voya play uh, Isabel at all, but it seems like what he's doing right now is really abusing the fact that Isabel does have some better up close options and is trying to completely <laughs> oh my god overwhelm Tatumon in that first stock. Jesus, what a start! Oh, yes. We have a lot of Isabel Bay in this. Yeah! <laughs> I'm. Okay! What a clean start there for Voya. That is definitely uh, the change of pace he was needing, because that, that added pressure. This, uh, this matchup is better for Isabel than Villager? Well, from what I'm seeing right now, what Voya is abusing most, is what I said, is the fact that Isabel has a better Nair and up tilt, which allows her to pressure Rosalina more, more up close. and. It's working out, and I, I definitely think uh, Rosa struggles more against uh, aggressive characters than she does against defensive characters, because she usually wins those matchups. So, in that sense, I definitely understand the way Voya is playing this right now. Damn, interesting. It's so, quite impressive that Voya can actually switch characters and still put the pressure on it. Oh yeah, for sure, because I, I haven't seen this Isabel at all yet, so this is definitely a big surprise to me. But I'm very much into it. I like to see it. So actually using the jabs a little bit on the shield there to uh, pressure him, it's going to be a down throw. I, I thought it was going to be an up throw trying to kill, but that is going to kill. Jeez, Folia running with this right now. What an interesting turn of events. This is not what I was expecting at all. And the Lloyd's actually better, I think, in this matchup. Yeah, I think so too, because um, when it's grounded, it's, uh, it seems like Rosalina cannot, you know, absorb it with a gravitational pull. So in that sense, it actually um, does a lot more for the matchup than uh, the regular Lloyd Rocket, Lock, sorry, Lloyd Rocket from Villager would. Um, so very interesting. I uh, oh, I did not expect correct. this to be such a drastic change. But yeah, very nice. Oh, what the call out. God. This uh this is an entirely different voya, let me tell you. Dear lord. That is uh that was quite convincing. <laughs> that's that's kind of crazy. I did not expect that at all. Sick turn of events from Voya there. God damn. Um so yeah, that's uh pretty insane. Pretty insane in me. Mm. Oh, I'd uh, like to get back at your question. I think all the matches are quite interesting because we have a lot of different matchups. I, uh, do you know who mains uh, uh, Blade Stormer? I've seen Never. him play uh, Link, I believe, and Robin on stream before. So, uh, yeah. Oh, Link versus Zelda. <laughs> yeah, a very. Uh... Well, non-canon, actually. I don't think they would fight, but, uh, <laughs> you know, let me just sell the battle. <laughs> hey, Tag, thank you for the follow, dude. 
Welcome to the stream. Uh, Voya, best billiger in hell. I know! And he played Isabel, and it worked out so well. Oh my lord. I'm, uh, I'm very happy. Of course, oh, of course you're here to support your fellow Frenchie. That's, uh, that's good to see. Yes, yes, but, uh, actually, very interestingly enough, the villager didn't work out for Voy in the first game, so he picked Vil uh, Isabel, and he three-stocked Tantamon, so... A very interesting match so far. Let's see what game number three is going to bring for us. The last match was really momentum-based. Yeah, it, it was Voya just plowing through Tatumon's stocks. It was, uh, it was not pretty for Tatumon. We're actually running it back. A very ballsy play by Tatumon, I want to say. But let's see how it plays out. Um, I think what Amy said in chat is very true in, in that if uh, Tatuan is able to slow the pace down a little bit more and, you know, get this very rabid dog off of him for a second, it would work. But uh, so far, Voya is just repeating the previous game. Dear Lord, this pressure. Yo, Clint, welcome to the stream. But, oh my god, Voya is just so strong at the moment. There is, <laughs> and I'm still very much surprised by this because I have never seen Voya play Isabel. I didn't even know he played her, so this is really out of nowhere for me. But very cool nonetheless. All right. Oh, for sure. Tatsumon trying to find his footing in this game. Um, not. Oh my God. I, okay, oh. he needs to respect that Nair a bit more. It seems like he doesn't know the frame data on that because. Um, I'm not sure off the top of my head, but, oh god, okay. Okay, Tatsumon. That, that was a good read. I mean, still though, um, Voya with all the momentum. Like, there was one good read from Tatumon, but all in all, it's really been Voya that's been, you know, in the driver's seat during this, uh, yeah, exactly. this set. He so actually far. take the initiative to interact. Yeah, with with Isabel, which is so weird to me, but hey, it's it's working out fabulously for him, so All right. Voya really smothering Tatsumon as much as possible, but there we go, good conversion from Tatsumon. Jab into the forward air. Okay. Well, good anti air and it's yeah. Oh, yeah. A yeah. little bit of an overextension from Voya there, pressing a button where he shouldn't have and this is a turn of events. I think that one is uh, using Luma now uh, way better than the previous game. Oh god. Oh, he's going deep. <laughs> he went extremely <laughs> deep for that, but... Uh... Yeah, no, Tatumon very wise of being early to get out of that very hairy situation. Um, there we go. That's good. Gonna... Yep, it's going to be the kill, and... Uh... Yeah, this is uh, anyone's game still, especially if Voya brings back that fire that he had in the, in the uh, second game. Well, it seems that he is finding it a little bit, but Tatumon still in the lead. Alright. Oof, again, Tatumon not respecting the frame data on Isabel Nair. Trying to punish it in a way that just isn't possible. Has an overextension, but finds his way back. And there's these, these, sorry, and I just want to, like, add that it feels like the the most important moves for Voya in, you know, using and or abusing against Tatumon have been that Nair and that up tilt. Just both of them putting so much pressure on Tatumon and he, do, he doesn't really know the answer to it just yet. But he's playing this game much better already than he did the second one, so uh, that is good for him at least. He's gonna be down throw, no combo, because uh, that doesn't combo, but... You know, it's also interesting that Voya doesn't particularly um, go for the Luma once um, once he gets hit on Rosa. Just kind of pushes it as much as possible. Did that actually... <laughs> oh, that kills? Whoa. <laughs> that was from across stage. Okay, well, Voya turning it up once again. <laughs> What a reversal. I did not expect this, to be honest. Me neither, but I, you love to see it. These are the kinds of surprises that I like to see on these streams. Um, but yeah, definitely the fact that uh, Voya is permitted to play a bit more aggressive because of that Nair and up tilt, just working out wonderfully for him. So, um, you know, Tatumon did perform 
much better during that game than in the second one already. So um, we might just see him stick to his guns with the Rosalina. In fact, I believe that is what he's going to do because Rosalina has been his best character throughout two games now. Um, but you never know. You never quite know. So let's see. I think it's just going to be a stage counter pick though. Yeah, the bitch thing. Yeah. With Isabel, because both want to kill at the top, mostly. Mm-hmm, that is true. But I do think that overall Rosalina has a bit more horizontal kill power, so he could leverage that a bit more with his counter pick. Uh -huh. But we'll see. Oh, Alright, yeah. You're yeah. Right. So I am right, we're gonna go for the more horizontal based kills this time. And also platforms being there, um, I think that could work a little bit more to Voya's favor, but we'll see. Um, all in all, I, I I really understand the the reasoning behind this pick. I think great uh, opening for Boya, going all in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Just you know, continuing with that pressure that he's been using throughout these uh, these past two games, and just uh, trying to run with it. So now actually Ooh. went for a little bit more of a campy playstyle. I'm surprised he got away with placing the Lloyd rocket right in Tatuman's face there. Because that is pretty laggy, but uh, Voya playing as well, playing it really well. I don't see any Luma shenanigans in this matchup, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a big difference between um, Solo and Tatumon, I want to say, in that um, Voya, uh, sorry, Tatumon just plays a very more defensive, patient Rosa and just, you know, jabs with Luma, trying to poke out, whereas um, Solo definitely abuses or uses uh, Luma tech a bit more. Um, Voya with the, the early lead here though, uh, but just as I say that I curse him. Sorry about that buddy. Complete screw. Yep. So uh, an even game for sure, but uh, Voya's been definitely just attacking and on the offensive and pushing his advantage a lot. Luma's out of the picture for a few seconds here, but um, doesn't really mean, mean much. much. Yeah. yeah, it's it's very weird. Like Voya doesn't really do anything with Luma per se. He just hits Tatumon a lot, and uh, eventually it works. Like there we go, and he just oh, leaves Luma out okay. of it. Yeah, it, it's a weird command grab. It it lasts for a long time, and when it pulls back, it's still active. So it's very strange. But uh, yeah, Voya. Once again, just pushing this advantage more and more. Tried to go for a jump read. Didn't get it. Goes all the way off stage, but Tatamon doesn't really um, punish him for that overextension, which I thought he would have. I don't think he will risk it if he gets it. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe. In any case, Voy is back on stage. Gonna get grabbed. Gonna be an up throw. Yeah. Tatamon not really knowing that <laughs> it seems. Just the, the intricacies of what Isabel can do, and that might just be because of that break that I mentioned. Um, that you know he he has not been active for a very long time. Um, oh, good swerve there by Voya. That Tokyo drift around the Rosalina down there. Gonna get scooped again, once again. Yeah, just very good usage of that side B because it, it's not an easy move to use. Don't get me wrong. That move is. Uh, it's quite weird to land. Bad jump by Tatamon, but he makes it back. Oh, nice fell. Ooh, Whoa, the reversal. Yeah. Whoa, 3-1. Yeah, a that's the, that's the very good reversal by Voya there on the uh, the missed back air stage bike attempt. And that's going to be Voya taking it in, well, basically a 3-0 once he switched to Isabel. So that was very, very clean by Voya there. And... Uh, just kudos to him, I want to say. That was very, very nice. So, um, very nice. that means we are um, just gonna get into our next match. Um, that was very entertaining to watch. Yeah, for sure. Because, um, you know, at first it looked very, very dire for Voya, because Villager Rosa seemed very painful, but just the um, added offensive pressure that um, Isabel had on some of her moves allowed him to just completely obliterate some of Tatumon's stocks and yeah can I turn yeah, up Alex a little bit yeah. and the, the I'll try to 